Hey guys, DMike here. Hello and welcome to the 100th, that's a 100, episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Kind of crazy. This is a series that I sort of planned on a whim when I first started this channel, and I was able to get my boy Odin Spack to help me with the first inaugural version of this, playing Donkey Kong Country. So we're actually gonna have a little bit of an interesting thing to do today. Uh, I'm gonna start out by just giving you a heads up. This is gonna be a Super Nintendo game randomizer. So I did a bit of a shuffle. I put 20 of the, according to this list that I just randomly downloaded, 20 of the Super Nintendo's greatest hits. So some of these games I have played, some of them I don't know, and we will find out. So up first, obviously, is SimCity. We're just gonna start a new city. Um, I don't know what any of this means. Apparently we're waiting. This is probably the most fun part of the game, is when you get to do this. Okay, we'll try that again. Um, and yeah, yeah, just full disclosure, um, What's the name of this city? Uh, this is going to shuffle the games periodically. I, I don't know how often it's gonna happen, but um, what's it gonna call this? Demikeville. Demike land, because we don't have enough space. And this is, like I said, the games will be shuffling randomly here and there, so I don't know how often that's gonna happen. Oh, uh, whatever, yeah. This is a game I did play as a kid. Um, I don't remember it very well. So, full disclosure, I uh, have no idea what I'm doing. These are just things that I thought you did when you were younger and it made sense. Um, and we will see how long this lasts before I run out of money um, and then ruin this. So, okay, first swap. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Okay, looks like a Konami game. Yeah, I have no idea what these games are gonna be. I think there's 20 of them that are gonna be shuffling out through this course of this, and this is gonna be um, gonna be playing for about an hour. So we'll see what this is. This does not look familiar to me. Castlevania 4, okay. I've never played Castlevania 4, so I have no muscle memory for this. I have no muscle memory for pretty much any of these, to be completely honest. So we're just gonna uh, see how we do. Enter our name, of course. Is that even like recording anything? Am I hitting like backspace? I don't know what this is doing. I think I might be hitting the wrong button. <laughs> wrong button. I don't know if I mapped my buttons correctly. There we go. It would help if I knew what I was doing. All right, there it is, of course. Castlevania. Classic series that I've never played. I think beyond maybe one DS game. Okay, is that good? Yeah, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have seen plenty of people play these games before. But I... Myself have never done this. Ooh, I got a dagger. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I've seen these types of randomizer shuffler things before on streams. I'm not quite into the realm of streaming yet. Someday. But um, until then, this is kind of the closest you're gonna get. And we'll see how well I, oops. We'll see how well I do, hopefully well enough to make this interesting. Ooh, that's a bag of money. Oh, that's a classic tune, isn't it? That's like a Super Mario World thing. Yeah, this should be fun just because of how much of an idiot I'm gonna look like since I have no... Uh... Okay, I guess we're back to... <laughs> we're back to Sim City. Just as you... Is this the end of the map? All right. Yeah, I remember this one. Um... Oh, I love that it doesn't let you like make things symmetrical. That's great. I remember this being a game that when I was younger with my siblings that we would play this one. And uh, my brother in particular was really big into um, like city planning and engineering and all that, which is interesting that he doesn't do that professionally. He probably would do a great job, but that's neither here nor there. Instead, uh, you just have me being a doofus playing this game, not for real. So you have 
Your residential areas, that's what the R stands for. Apparently there's no power being run to that middle one. Now there is. I'm really confused about where I can go. So yeah, this game is the uh, the first in the SimCity franchise on the Super Nintendo. It might be the only one, to be completely honest. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this is what you do. You make houses. You make industry. We have homes. We have businesses. We have rampant capitalism. Everything so far is going swimmingly. I have no clue what the H I'm doing. So enjoy that. And witness my lack of understanding how to do any of this. It's good for you. Nothing more fun in life than experimenting. Depends upon what that means to you. But in this case, it's just with crappy Super Nintendo games. All right, game three. Or, yeah, technically game three. Okay, what is this? This is, I don't know, it's very swirly. Act Razor. Well, I don't know what this is. I've never played Act Razor. Please create a name for yourself. I'm trying. Life is tough. Press the B button to enter any letter you select. Press the Y button to cancel. Okay. I just had to look at my controller to see what the B button was. We're doing great. This music is weird. Are you awake, Sir D Mike? The angel sent to help. Okay, there's monsters in control of the earth. This all came about because of a demon. Well, that's fun. You kindle the people's faith in you, my cult leader. First, let's go and go down to the earth and destroy all monsters. I love the idea of that. Sky Palace movement. Observe the people. Fight. Please select the desired command for the menu at the right. Well, they said we needed to... I mean, that's what they said we needed to do. Let's go fight some heckin' monsters. Woo! Mode 7! Yeah, this is, a, this is a new experience for me. Hopefully we get to experience all 20 of the games. We've already seen SimCity twice. Fillmore! Fillmore what? Fillmore butts? See more butts? Okay. Ooh, that's like the... That's like the Illusion of Gaia kill monster sound. Okay. Whoa! Okay. I'm on to you. What is this? Okay, we got a thing. These weird little blue goblins, are these the only enemies? Oh, okay, well. So much for that. Mario Kart, oh boy. This was a super, super popular game for me and my sister. She and I played the heck out of this one. As far as I know, she actually still has my Super Nintendo, so I should go and steal that. Um, I believe... I used to play as Yoshi, but I was watching a video recently that said that Koopa Troopa is actually the best in this game. So, to be seen, who knows? But hopefully you're having fun so far with this. This is going to be a uh, whoop, little blast of the past. If I can remember how to play all these games. Some of them, like I said, I do know. Oops. I do know some of them. Not all of them. I remember this game did cause a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Oh, I don't want that anymore. Uh, a lot of frustration for me and my family. We used to very aggressively play this game and uh, cause fights over who got to be who, because that's what you do as children. You fight over things that don't matter, like who gets to be which character in a Mario game. Oh, suck on that, Mario. Yeah, this game was interesting. This is the first Mario Kart entry into the series. Not most people's favorite, I would assume. It's not a bad one, but it did introduce the battle mode. I mean, technically it introduced everything because it's the first one, but you get what I'm saying. It introduced the battle mode that my sister and I used to love to play. Like we, would, we wouldn't we would be playing the Grand Prix mode or anything like that. It was almost exclusively this. Like we would go and play battle, well, this is not the battle mode, but we would exclusively play the battle mode and beat each other up. You would each get three balloons and uh, you would, there we go, first place for y'all. Um, 
you'd use the balloons and you'd have weapons and if you knocked the three shots away and you hit your opponent you won look at that final lap viewers just for you see how many races i can get in before it switches switches get stitches okay this music is weird huh and this game of course was followed up by mario kart 64 which i feel is probably a lot of people's favorite very popular choice. I don't know what I set the shuffler to. Um, I want to say that it's like a minute to two minutes, three minutes maybe tops. So I'm hopefully going to have all all games represented, probably not fairly, um, but as much as I can. Ooh, viewers, do you know what this is? We don't have time for this. But we do have time is for Super Metroid. No, I'm not going to promise anything because I don't know. But um, there may be some of these games played in this shuffler that could potentially make it. In... Is that a robot? Make it into the rotation. Regular games of Super Nintendo Sundays. Okay. You know, this is cool and all, but I want to play because I don't have a ton of time. There's no time for story. We can go over this in depth if this turns into a series game. I've actually never played this one. I've My first Metroid game was Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Like some, one of my parents' friends randomly just gave it to me. They're like, oh, hey, I have this. Do you want it? And, you know, me, me being a dumb kid, I'm like, uh, yeah, of course I do. So I took it and I played it, didn't know what I was doing first game in the series that I really feel like I do know what I was doing do I have to watch this um was Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance now that's a wonderful game and if I remember correctly if you have Nintendo Switch you can play that on the Game Boy Advance portal so I would recommend that yeah I would imagine that this isn't something you have to do and I'm just like not hitting the right button Oh, there's Samus. That's a, she's a lady. Don't you forget it. Oops. Well, I guess we're not going to see that. <laughs> no gameplay of that one. Isn't that fun, viewers? Instead, how about some toidles in time? We're going to be Raphael. Of course, because he's red, my boy. Evening news with April O'Neil. All right, here we go. It's a big old boy. He just stole the Statue of Liberty. Whoa. Big Apple. Now, this is gonna be a deep cut for all of you, but on my old channel, I did actually play this with uh, with my boy, Jeff Lars, who actually, uh, turns out, is a gosh dang savant at this game. We played this one, um, I believe, we did remote play. You know, because he and I do not live in the same household, therefore playing on the same console would be impossible. There wasn't really a lot of online functionality. This was a long time ago. So there is a net play feature that is available on um, some of the Super Nintendo software that you can get. Not gonna tell you how, but you know. Anyway, we did do, we did find a way to connect on the internets and we made that happen. It was awesome. We had a good time with it. What is this? Ooh. Is there fighting that's going to happen in the street? Or is this another game about fighting? Maybe a game about punching someone's face? Ooh, Super punch -a. I've never played this. I've... I mean, I don't know exactly what the list of the games is in this. So... Uh, it would be really cool if I could stop hitting the wrong button here. I keep forgetting that I've got it mapped this way. Championship? I don't know what that means. Sure. Don't be doing circuits with miners, just to let you know. Gabby J from France. He is quite a dilapidated old man. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just going to wait and see. This is a much of, much of a trial for me as it is for you. Oh, we dodged him. Oh. 
Okay. I don't know any of the punches. Whoop. Oh, get him. Get him around his old face. Okay. Doing a lot of dodging. Oh, oh he's winding up. Oof. Okay, well, that's not good. There's not really a ton of uh, buttons here to really work on this. Well, I'm just jabbing away. Are there only like the two punches? All right. How do I do like a power move? How do I do the smash? Ooh, I think that was probably it. All right, so this is going swimmingly. I don't know what I'm doing. Stop dodging me, let me win. Viewers, I'm doing so much more gooder. Oh, we got oh, we got his health back? Get out of here. Okay, great. Oof. Getting beat by this old Frenchman. Yeah. This is uh basically me just kind of mashing buttons here. I'm trying my best to do to do good by it, but clearly I'm uh not really excelling here. Oof. Okay. So, first time, clearly not uh, <laughs> not in great shape. I did knock him down, though, after I got knocked down. All right. Oh, he gets a full health? Oh, well, that's lame. Yeah, I don't know. Man, his hits do so much more than mine. Good thing we got out of there. Well, we already know what this one is. NBA Jimmy Jam. Does anybody like the NBA? I used to love this game. I don't know how we got it because my family aren't really big into basketball. I mean, I like it now as an adult, but you know, as a small child, small bean, um, we were never really um, big fans of the NBA. Head to head. Enter your initials for record keeping? Okay. Uh, let's do... Uh, D Mike. Great. Password. I don't care. How do I. I just want to. Okay, great. Can I just play against the computers? Did I reset the. Okay. Uh. I don't know. I don't really follow basketball. Um. Let's do a classic matchup. Let's do, uh, who do people think of? Let's do the, the Lakers. Those are not names of people that I recognize. These guys kind of suck. Maybe we do the Chicago Bulls. Can I do, no Michael Jordan? Well, Scottie Pippen's in there. I know him. Cool. And we will play against whoever. I just want to start a game. All right, against the Dallas Mavericks. Know nothing about these teams. Here we go, viewers. Woo! I definitely don't know the buttons, so it's also deathly quiet. Oh, okay, that's apparently shooting from a million miles away. Yeah, there's no like crowd sounds. Um, ooh, excuse me. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not good. Doesn't really tell you what you're doing here. Whoop. Okay, you know, you might as well just. Shoot the J? That's a foul. Am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know to what degree any of this is happening the way it is or it shouldn't be. Um, I'm not very good with balls, so... How do we pass? Was that the... Am I... Oh, that's the computer. That is not me doing that. Let's go ahead and assume that it's probably safe that uh, anything that happens in a positive way is probably the computer, if I had to guess. I shouldn't be passing it to the computer because every time I do, I get uh, no action whatsoever. Oh, we blocked you. Pass the ball, sucker. All right. Okay, I did that. That was me, 100%. Maybe I should be taking credit. Credit where credit is due. Ooh, I know this one. I know this one. That classic sound. All right. Hurry up. Yeah, I don't know why some of these games are mapped the way that they do, but um, they don't let me engage right away with whatever it is. I'm just going to jump into these as much as I can because I don't want to waste time. Nope. 
Not two of those, just one. Yeah, this is a game that my sister and I played a lot too. Break gas. Well, I want the gas to be like this. Yeah, boy. The D mic. D control. I remember the white car being good. Did I screw this up? No. I think I hit the wrong button. By the time I get back to this, it's going to be over. I'm trying my best, viewers. What am I? Oh, oh, it's. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Can I go? Oh my gosh. Do you love these screens, viewers? Are you having a good time? Yeah, this this game is one we played a lot too. We were a little bunch of racers. Play game. Here we go. Las Vegas. Oh, this is iconic. Man, I remember this. I barely remember the buttons, even though it said what it, what they were. I didn't even look. But yeah, I remember I was too stupid to know how manual cars worked. So for me, I was just like, oh yeah, we gotta go full auto, even though your car is a lot slower, and um, I think it needs more gas too, maybe. The manual car is more fuel efficient, but I'm playing on probably like the easiest setting to just showcase what all this is. No, okay, well, so much for that, what is this? Some sort of a grid? I don't know if that was actually part of the game or not. Gradius? Gradius? I've never played this, so this is going to go horribly. Uh, sure. That looks great. How do I select you? Great. Shield? Force field? Force field sounds great. Okay, who's ready to watch me get my who pushed in? Alright, this is like your classic pew pew pew. Shoot, shoot him up, maybe? Okay, there's these things, these boys. I think this is one of those, like, uh, yeah, it's a space shooter where you, you, you kill stuff and then over time these power-ups surface. And it, um, essentially is how you progress. You get more power-ups. Am I controlling what power-ups I get? I don't think so. So you just gotta move around a lot and hope that they don't kill you. Oh boy. The music is pretty sweet though. This kind of sounds like um, something from F-Zero, which is also a series I've never played. Might be in this, uh... oh, okay. Just got murdered by the movie Dune. Very fun. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Full disclosure, I mean, that actually probably makes this a little bit more fun for you viewers. Is to see just the nonsense that I'm going through. Looks like it did hit a bit of a check, okay. Bit of a checkpoint. So yeah, when these games are rotating, and they're twerking for me, um, it will bring me back to the spot that I last left off, I think. That's the whole goal of the shuffler, is that it's supposed to be able to have some sort of continuation. I mean, we've already seen SimCity, so I guess this is a bit of like a unnecessary thing to say, but we're making the best of it. I believe that uh, Castlevania is the story of Simon Belmont, maybe? Is that a dragon? Yeah, but this is just a, a fun way to go about doing all of this. The things I'm going to be saying are uh, relatively disconnected, because I don't, oh, there's an ace. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And so I'm just gonna be making everything up on the fly. That's kind of how I do my videos anyway. It's more fun that way, it's all improv. Open mic. Open D mic. But yeah, I um, I just randomly decided to make this a series long ago, right? I don't know how long it took me to get to 100 episodes. Probably not a consistent 100 because I have skipped, oops, I have skipped weeks from time to time due to illness, lack of preparation, me being a big ding -o dong all kinds of reasons, so. Just take what you get, viewers. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. It's been fun, I haven't, um, I haven't done all the series yet. Can I swing on this? Yeah, boy, I'm a swinger. Give me that upside down pineapple. Oof, I am just getting wrecked. And like I said before, these could potentially be games that in the future become options. We can eliminate those for series. 
if I like them enough. Playing these games is a good way to find out. I would love the shuffler to stop shuffling things I've already played. Oops. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Woo! Can you kill all the bricks? Some... I guess these bricks aren't really being killed. They're not alive. But we are doing great, I think. I mean, I'm not doing, like, the most worst. Okay. How come he can go through the stairs, but I can't go through the stairs? I think I actually can. Hold on. Nope. False. Lies. This music is pretty iconic, though. There's things about games like this that I feel are fun because they are, um... Oh, that just despawned. These are games that I've never played. Like, I've never played probably half of the ones on this list. But they're still really well known. What? Let's go play together. Under the clearest of blue skies. There's nothing but blue skies. What is this? Tetris attack? I don't know if I've played this. I mean, specifically this version. I feel like I've played... Um, I don't know what this means. My favorite number is seven. Let's go normal, maybe? Oh, it's Poochie. Okay. Let's go with Poochie. If you couldn't tell, these are, I think, um, these are, whatever that's called, uh, Yoshi's Island characters, maybe? Can we switch this? How do we go vertical? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. As far as I know, this is the, the method of playing this game. You're just trying to pull the blocks away and hope for the best. I have the Game Boy version of this somewhere. If I was asked where, I couldn't tell you. Um, okay, great. <laughs> Some games you get a lot. I probably should have limited it to two minutes just to make sure I got all the games in. You might not see all of them. So apologies for that. But uh, I, I'm probably gonna, I probably over, over promised in this one. It's good in the workplace, but. but yeah, I remember, um, I guess I'm just gonna be like talking about my memories here. What is this guy's name? Mr. Laser Beams. I, I didn't grow up with turtles, so um, I mean I appreciate it. I like the series, but oops, I don't have any sort of uh, recollection of the cartoon or comics or anything like that. And there's a lot that I'm doing even when I'm playing this already that I don't remember when I played with Jeff um, being able to do any of that. So I don't know if I was just extra bad. Probably. I just remember him being very good at this. Maybe this is a game that he grew up with. And so he hustled me. I don't know. But those are the good old days back on the old channel. Oh, I need that pizza. Give me the pizza. I actually had pizza for dinner. It was wonderful. Viewers, do you like pizza? Did that give me a full heal? That's amazing. Let's get these clan members out of here. And you can have a second player if you want. If you do have friends. Ooh, I remember this. Baxter? Oh, he's got a gun. He's got a weapon! Alright, how do I hit you? Oh, there you go. Gotta jump in. Oops. Gotta give you, like, the jump kick. Bam, bam, bam! Wham, bam, thank you. Fly man. Alright. Oof. I don't know if this is going... Oh, okay. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back! The basketball. Okay. Ooh, I blocked this. Probably goaltending. I think that's a thing in basketball. You know what? I'm not passing it anymore. Okay, never mind. I am passing it. I'm passing it every time. Pass it. Okay. Isn't this this is great? Is this the definitive version of this game? I mean, I remember and uh, in university. How do I move? Oh, that's like me getting stuck to pass. All right, so I should stop hitting those buttons because that is boring. Passings for passers. Why pass when you can shoot? I just want to know how you dunk. Get off of me. Oh no, he stole it from me. All right, now things are getting a little dire. Okay. Wow. What a fun game. The dunk pass. To avoid having your dunk blocked, pass off, no. No. The more passing I do, the less shooting I do. Although I haven't really been doing either of that. Oh, that's actually a nice little fade in. Ooh, I know what this one is. 
I think this is actually a game that I intended to play on the channel a long time ago, but I never could commit. This is Bubsy. It's a classic platformer. Um, chaotic, to say the least, but probably one of my favorite games as a kid. I played this game a lot. It's another one. Um, it really depended upon like what era growing up that I played games because um, I'm the youngest of four, and so some of my siblings being older were not really into games at the same time that I was. So my sister, who's next closest in age to me, she was the one who, uh, she and I shared the Super Nintendo a lot. My other siblings were too cool. They had aged out essentially of um, playing Super Nintendo. So it was my sister and I that were the main game players. We were the players and we enjoyed sharing the Super Nintendo together. But yeah, this is a game where you are Bubsy, you're a cat of some sort, a wild cat. And you are trying to free this land from these weird birds who clearly are not real. And it's just platforming mayhem. It's not a bad platformer. It's not a great platformer by any means. However, it is very near and dear to my heart because of the, uh, just the shenanigans. It's just very, um... It's very silly. It doesn't take itself very seriously. There's a lot of moments in this game that are ridiculous that you're like, how did I do that? It's also very easy to die in this game. So that's another thing that is probably worth mentioning is that this game, when I was a child, I have 12 lives and I probably would have already burned through them because of how frustrating this game can be. You can very easily get blown and die, which is a very sad, combination of words together ooh well where's my star I, it wasn't let me do it for a second so yeah that's a that's an interesting game it's very fun I think I did actually do a little bit of a test a while back maybe after um, I finished Aladdin I think I was trying to incorporate that and it just didn't quite work out for me it is a fun game though I did enjoy it it's not a very long game, but I've never beaten it. So that's actually one of the things that makes this experience in this channel fun is that I haven't beaten off most of these games. And so I can go back now as an adult and probably not do it either. So, you know, it's all about the experience, sharing these moments, going back and enjoying the things from when you were, when life was a little bit simpler. When things were- oh, Luigi, you think you're about to snipe me, brother? Why don't you get the heck out of here? But yeah, these are games, some of them, that made up a lot of my childhood. I wasn't much of a console gamer. Not that I remember as much. I think when I- it was like on and off, it really depended because we moved around a lot. Went on a lot of, uh... I moved around a lot as a kid because my parents' job. So... That led to me, um, this is probably moving a lot faster than I would like it to. Um, because of my mom and my dad's job, we moved around a lot. And so because of that, we spent a lot of time in the car. It's a four pack. And when you spend a lot of time in the car, you get used to playing handheld games. That's kind of more of the, the realm that I was in. So I didn't really do a lot of console gaming, which is fine. I don't know if I'm doing well or not. Um, I still enjoy console games, of course. I just never really got exposed in a good way to a lot of those. Didn't really have the time, but I would say the closest I got was... How do I move this up? The most time that I spent was probably um, with Super Nintendo. That was, I mean, that makes sense, right? I didn't quite grow up in the full era of the Super Nintendo. I was a bit of a tweener. For the 64. Oh, you like that, viewers? Yeah, you do. Um, of the 64 and the Super Nintendo. So for me, I split time between both households. I got to experience both of them. Um, so that was always a, uh, a good part of the childhood that I had, was enjoying those moments. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy some of these games. I'm not entirely sure 
100% what my de my demographic is for people that watch my stuff. I know some of you are younger, and that's okay. And if this isn't something that you experienced, that's also okay. This is my way of sharing it with you. Gets you a little bit of an opportunity to see what was like in the good old days, right? All right. See if this is a game we haven't seen yet. Yes, it is. This is Pilot Wings. Do you want to join the flight club? And we're going to skip all this crap. Light plane or sky? Let's skydive. I've never been. I've heard it's scary. Scaly. Ooh, look at that. Maneuvers. Maneuver through the three ranks and land in the yellow area. Oh, boy. I do remember once that there was a uh, some sort of a software that was made. Which is actually the same software that I used to play Link to the Past. Um, that software, which was used to essentially create um, kind of some smoothing. Oops, we've already missed a ring. Okay. We've missed both rings. I have no idea how to control myself. I'm just spinning in circles. Okay, we're about to aggressively smash into the ground. How do we pull the chute? Can we at least do that? Okay. Viewers, we're doing great. I'm actually like trying to... I'm like trying to... Move my controller around. Like there's motion controls. Oh yeah, we're dead. Viewers, we are going to die. My rate of descent is too great. Because I'm too great at this game. Can we at least land in the middle? Ooh, viewers, viewers, wait, wait for it. I'm slowing it down, I'm slowing it down. Oh no, we're gonna break our legs. Did that count? I, I landed in the middle. Okay, 100% actually, that's pretty great. Thank you, weird banged man. Okay. So I did skydiving, apparently 100% correct. Didn't follow any of the rules. Follow the green glide path and land on the run. Oh boy. This is not going to go well. Oop. I'm already veering off path here. Stay on target. Yeah, this game is on the Super Nintendo Portal on Switch. Um, I briefly played it and it took me a while. Okay, well. There you go. Another new game back to back. That is... Is that three in a row? I think so. Try to think about all the games that are on this list. Look at that cool animation. I think I got this game from um It's being my boy Ken. It's always my go-to. From the US and Day. Um This game I, I remember I played it. I think I borrowed it and never gave it back from my cousin. Why am I in blue? It's not the classic Ken. Okay. I don't know any of the moves, by the way. I never, I was never much of a, um, I don't need you to quit. I don't know any of the, uh, combos. So if I do a cool move, oop, there we go. Ooh, imagine getting thrown around by your head. That's not fun. Okay. So I didn't know how to do the Hadouken. That's probably much the only thing. Like where you roll your, your finger on the D-pad and then you hit the X button. I think that's what I did. Maybe. Whee! Elephants are very happy for me. Okay, cool. Round two. Yeah, I don't um I don't know pretty much anything about this game. I oh, see I did it I did another one. I did a thing. There we go. Hadouken! What is this? Mega Man X? Oof, I'm getting my booty handed to me this time. See, that's a cheap move where like I don't get any iframes to really defend myself. Oh, I did a whatever. Okay. Oh, he's blocking all my stuff. Okay. So, clearly not great. Oh, look at that dance move. He's like, mm, mm, look at me. I set you on fire. Okay. Can I cancel that by using my own shooty boot? No. Okay, I can jump over it at least. Yeah, there's like not, not a whole lot in the realm of um, iframes, invincibility frames. I'm gonna punch you right in your your grundle. Oof. 
Yeah, I'm, I was never really good at fighting games. Do I like them? Sure. Oof. Oh, I would have liked to have gotten him with the, the scooby doo boop Ooh, punched him right in the jewels. Bam, how's that? Look at me. Peace sign for... Okay. Right at the end of the race. We've seen Mario Kart three times now, so clearly this shuffler is a big fan of it. Got about 20 minutes left, so hopefully... I can see some more of the games. I don't even think that we've seen 10 of them yet, which is great because I put in a lot and this randomizer is, <laughs> is not showing them to me. Great. All right. Let's 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 get through this. Come on. We got to get through this. We got to get through this. I'm like mashing my controller. Hopefully it's got enough charge to power through. I mean, it would be nice to win a circuit, but I don't, you know, I like Mario Kart. Don't get me wrong, but I don't need to be playing it this much. There's other games to play. One of the things I did make sure of when I was going through this list of top games, of course, like, when I say top 20, like, that's subjective, of course. I made sure that I didn't really put any of the RPGs in there, because you can't really play an RPG in a randomizer. It doesn't work super well. If it was just the game by itself, maybe? Okay, great. The randomizer heard me talking smack. It was like, shut up, here you go, here's something different. Another Capcom game. What is this? I don't know this music. In the year 20... What? 20 Jad? I have no idea what this is. <gasps> is this Mega Man? <gasps> Ooh, Mega Man 7? Okay. I don't know. Is this a good one? Here's... Can't this thing go any faster? Uh, right? That's how I feel about this randomizer. I'll try and punch it up a notch. Hold on. Ooh, this is... uh. Like the Game Boy Mega Man. Okay, that's enough story for now. Can we just... Can we go pew 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 yet? We need some enhancements. Some performing enhancing drugs for Mega Man. Yeah. These are games that I never played. But I'm assuming these are the ones that are like the continuation of the Mega Mans from the NES and Game Boy. Don't forget to wear your helmet. I don't think that's uh, the right one. <laughs> okay, a little sass to start this game. There you go. There's the classic blue bomber helmet. This is the song that was repurposed for Mega Man X. Well, this is a lot of fun that they start you off with all this lore. And I am not controlling that. Oh, Dr. Light taking the knee. There's Rush the dog. Okay, cool. There's a lot going on here. Am I going to even get to play this? Sorry for making games that apparently don't want to be played, viewers. Okay. They're blowing stuff up in the city center? <gasps> Man, that's fast. I do like the graphics of this. This is very well made. Capcom always did a great job with their IP. But we're never going to get to see it. There's a lot of Konami games in this. I didn't realize that. Sunset Riders! Welcome to the Wild West, y'all. Pew, pew, pew! yippee ki -yay. Billy Bob Cormano. This guy's pink, red, whatever. Simon Creedwell. Greedwell. Dead or alive. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, look at this. I don't... I don't ever remember this being a game that I played as a kid, but this was one of those games that's in, like... Um... My mom and my dad, whenever they would go on, like, work trips, and we would go to, like, hotels. There would always be, like, an arcade in the hotel. Me and my sister. We would go and play, um... You know, if we were lucky, it was one of those arcades that had, uh, like, infinite... It was, like, infinite plays. You didn't need coins or anything like that. It was just basically to get the kids to shut up. And this is one of those games I believe was one of them. Did I die already? Okay, great. I'm doing great at this game. Let's try again. Probably should, uh, get shot less. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? I feel like there's some pretty high-profile games on here that I haven't even... 
touched yet. Because we wanted to play SimCity a million times. And Mario Kart. Ooh, you can shoot diagonally. Didn't know that. Is this good? I don't know what this does. I don't know what any of this does. I'm pretty sure that this game, though, is on... Um, and this might be another one of those Super Nintendo Portal games. All right, I just gotta react a little faster. Getting too old, viewers, and I don't have my, my my same reaction speed. Not true. I'm doing great. Okay. This is wild. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Nothing like getting blown up in a haystack. Oh, those are the lives. I see. Yeah, this is uh, this game's a little tricky. Not having played it before. Ooh, is this a spread shot? Sweet. Ooh. Watch out, viewers, Cox. Oh, Imbles. Do we have time for one more? I like this music. Yeah, whatever, I'll just do this guy. I'll just do this guy, he said. Oh, okay. This is actually the game that I was thinking of when I was mentioning high profile. Super Mario World. Okay. No time for this, no time for story. Nobody cares about Mario stories anyway. Come on, come on. Let's go! Yes. This was definitely one of the most important games of my childhood. We played the absolute heck out of this one. Me and my siblings. I don't think I actually ever remember beating it as a child. But I do know that I did beat it as an adult not too long ago. Because I'm amazing. Went back and whooped this child's game. This is the introduction of Yoshi. We have seen Yoshi's Island. So... That, of course, the successor to this wonderful match. Match? Why did I say that? Game? I have no idea what I'm saying. But yeah, this was a game that was important for me and my siblings. Um, there was the Super Mario All-Stars variant that had this in it. We did not have, have that one. We had the original that did not come with that, which is actually... Pretty, pretty big bummer because that's a really good compilation game. Not to mention how awesome it is that uh, they put this, you know, Super Mario World in in a game like that. That's crazy because of... Oh, okay. Because of how good this game is. We're back to punch out. We're back to getting our punches out. How do I do any fancy punches? No. Stay away. Oof. Yeah, that's a knockout punch. Okay, this looks painful. You see, he gets a he gets a whole bunch of of um opportunities, and I'm just doing these little wimpy baby punches. Oof! I don't know how to. I I don't really know how to do any of these, so it's a little tricky for me to figure this out. I'm essentially learning the buttons on the fly. Yeah, that's probably a knockout, right? I'm not doing very good. Yeah, I'm totally knocked out. Against the first guy in the game? Oops. Yeah, I did not learn my lesson. Would love to be shuffled out of this one. Did I do okay? No bonus. Oops. Can we try it again? I like winning. Okay. I'm running out of time here. We only got 10 more minutes. Yay! I feel like you wouldn't say that. He'd be like, Sacre Blue! Gotta wait for him to make a move, and then we do. Of course. Punch and counter punch. Alright, there we go. Got him right in the face. Bam! I'm not really sure if there are other moves that I could do that are good, or maybe you just... Ooh, there we go. That's like a little... little cross. I'm not a big boxing fan, but... Can respect it. Apparently the game doesn't care. Alright. F-Zero. Another new game. The Blue Falcon. Is that Captain Falcon? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never played this one either. Is that crazy talk, viewers? Am I doing good? Oh. Yeah. This is all I... The only muscle memory I have about this game is... Uh, like the tracks... For Super Ma Super Mash Bros. Super Smash Brothers, and then in uh, Mario Kart. That's all I know. The music though is pretty iconic. What a great game! I'm going so fast. My spaceship. 
Am I doing good, viewers? I'm in first place. How do I use the 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 super bonus, like the nitro? Do I have nitro? Do I can shift left and right. Is this boost? Am I am I? Oh, I'm like lapping people now. Ha! Huh. Ooh, there's a boy up on my heels. Not today. Wherever we are. Am I? I don't know how to do this. I don't, is that break? Am, I might be breaking actually when I do that. Whoa! Yeah, you gotta watch out a little bit because these little side rails. Three laps? Holy smokes, these races are long. I guess the course isn't very big. These um, these side rails do damage to your, your spaceship. And if you take too much damage, of course, you have big T traumas. That's what, that's what you get. Boom! Get out of my way, sucker. It'd be nice if you could blast him out of the way. Or right, is this another new game? You can tell it's a new game when it goes to the title screen, I guess. Contra the Alien Wars. All right, we have a little bit under 10 minutes left, so hopefully we'll be able to sneak in however many games left. I think there's like two off the top of my head. Well, this game just gets right to it. I'm all about that. Whoa, a little slowdown for you. Yeah, I appreciate this. This game is randomizer friendly. Oop. Okay, so you can't take any hits. The spread shot. This is this good? I don't know if this is good. okay. So basically, um, I don't think I did good. Yeah, it definitely makes you look embarrassing uh, when you don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. A bomb or something? How do I? All right. So basically, you know, Contra being a series is pretty classic. Um, just shoot at everything all the time, kind of a series. And don't get hit by the blue boys, because if you do, you lose your pair ups. You can duck though. Just learn that ducking is a thing. Is that a dog eating garbage? Laser is lasers good? Oh, you can get hit by the dogs. Yeah, I'm just kind of... I am running and gunning, certainly. The demon dogs. Do you only come past me if... I'm, okay, I don't like you. All right, let's see, that's cheap, though. You saw me, I moved. I'm just gonna keep going and... hoping that something good will happen in the meantime. I've never done a recording this long, viewers. I don't know if I can take it. All right, more pew pew. I don't know what B does. Is that like force field? Force field? Oh, okay. We're back to <laughs> we're back to Bubsy. It scared me actually. That's one of the things about these randomizers that's a little tricky. Is that uh, because it starts you very abruptly in these moments that you got to be on your heels or on your paws. Okay, so that was a little teleporter that went the wrong way. It actually, is a really fun game. I don't know beyond this method if there's a way that it's accessible i don't know if it's really ever been put on any sort of like virtual console maybe it maybe it was i got two lives right there because i'm amazing don't forget to use your fly boy button if you hit the y button you can drift a little bit which is kind of neat glide not drift words okay and you got to make sure you kill these bird boys these bird brains because they ain't real uh these things can kill you you can get hit in the head with a with a uh, manhole cover thing, and then that will kill you. Basically, everything is trying to kill you. You can get blown to death, like I mentioned before, and that's always, in most cases, not the way that you want to go. Not the most relaxing experience. But I'm trying to be careful here and take my time to show off my experience. This is actually one of the games that I do have experience with. Okay, it's not going to give me any more of my balls. That's fun. I think there's like one game or two more that I hope that it shows. If it doesn't, then you've seen a lot of them at least. It's a bummer that it showed SimCity twice before really getting started. Such is the life of the randomizer. I keep going left first. You can sort of push back against the stream. Oh, there's my... Speaking of, the game's like, what are you seen about SimCity? We need industry. More roads required. I haven't built any roads. 
course there's more roads required. Is it the top of the map? No, why doesn't it let me go? Oh, gotta hold that button, okay. Game, you know what? I need you to just back off. Slow your roll. I'm trying to build my little city. My simulated city. And I don't know, I don't know what any of this means. Am I doing okay? Is this enough power for all of you, you big whiners? Let's build this. All right, let's build some roads for our city. I probably could have been doing this the entire time. Maybe we build them around town. This is me building roads around town. We're bringing it all the way around town. Just the nice outer belt. So nobody wants to get anywhere efficiently in my city. So don't worry about that. Maybe we can do a little bit of a loop around each one. I don't know if this is good or bad. Probably bad. This is why I'm not an engineer. The only thing I'm good at is engineering my feelings. All right. So this is pretty good, right? Didn't really leave a lot of space for myself. And it's not symmetrical, so my brain hurts. All right. Let's get the old PD. Um, let's probably put it closer to the residential. Oh, okay. I was going to say residential side, but instead we're going to be fighting the street. Attack me if you dare. I will crush you. Guys, we did it. Next we get to fight... Who is this? DJ? I don't... I don't even know this. I've only played the original Street Fighter, so I have no idea who this is. What does his pants say? Maximum. I love that. Whoa! DJ, go back to spinning some tunes. Yeah, boy! How's that feel? Mm, ooh, kick my face. We don't want that. How do I... Ooh, I blocked it. Ooh, that like... That really messed him up. Would you stop kicking me when I'm in, in like on the down ground? Down the ground? That's what I meant to say. This might be the... Oof. This might be the end of the line for Mr. Ken here. Should have sticked to salad dressings. Famous Ken's. Look at the dancing in the background. It's one of the best things... There's like a like live music and there's people clearly having this this like island paradise, having a good time, and I'm just we're just over here like shooting each other and whatever with our hand laser beams. Okay, would like to get a little closer to him. I don't know how you slide on the ground. Oof, yeah, him being able to do that seems unfair. Ooh, a little bit of slow down. Stop blocking my stuff. Just let me hit you. Oof. Getting real dangerous here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am driving off the side of the road. And the old top top gear, I'm said top gun. That's not what this is. We got a little bit left in the uh, in the special here. I'm trying to keep my eyes on it. I, I did start a little bit late, so I'm gonna make sure that I give enough time to it. it might it's gonna be around the hour mark. It's not gonna be exact because I'm not a wizard. Not a time wizard, that's for sure. Final lap, let's get that boost going. Yeah, this game, uh, I remember the the main problem that is in this game that my siblings and I could never figure out is that when you play the longer the longer tracks, tricks, you have to go and fuel up at these gas pumps during the race, like I guess you would if you were doing like an F1 race or something like that, but that's not what this is. I don't know what kind of cars these are. I don't know what kind of car anything is. That's first place for you. And I remember, uh, didn't quite understand that part. And because I didn't understand that part, my car would run out of fuel and I would never finish races. All right. I'm going to give one more, um, once this shifts, I'm going to make the, the next game, whatever it is. That'll be our finale here. I don't think I got to see all the games, unfortunately, but you got to see a good variety, I would say. Got to see me do okay in some and really poorly at others. It's gonna be bonking into everybody. Clapping their cheeks here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, this. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna actually do one more other one because I um oh, that's your stamina. Because I don't want to end on this, because we've already seen it multiple times. And I don't want to end on it. So I'm gonna give you something else once this is done. Ooh, there you go. 
Ooh. I'm winding up on those big crosses. Okay. So maybe you can only do that when you have like more of your your S bar. Maybe that's your bonus. No, how about you back off? Oof. So you gotta do these little jabs, build up your, your mojo, and then you can blap, blap, blap. And you're gonna have a little bit of bonus time here, viewers, just because I uh, don't wanna end on this. So whatever the next game is, I'm gonna hope that it'll be something different. I think it's messed up that they get a brand new health bar every time. Okay, oof. There you go, get them, light them up. Sacre bleu. Bam, bam. Ooh, there it is. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you get your bonuses in there. We're learning. It only took me uh, a fight and a half to figure this out. <laughs> oh! Take that, monsieur. Stay down. Ooh, he just gets up. Ooh, that's when you can light him up right there. You get that bonus. Ooh, I punched him right in the bread basket. Okay, good. The game wanted to randomize to something new here. Wouldn't be upset. You just wanted to shift real quick. Did we do it? All right, that wasn't too bad. I don't really know how any of this works, but. Did that say Wario? Oh, it's. Turtles. Well, you know what? I can end on turtles just because it's a boss fight. Oh! You got me this big old sticky hand. You guys remember those? Those big sticky hands you could get at like the arcade and stuff from like the the prize cabinet. Yeah, those are those are always cool. And you get them stuck to the ceiling or whatever, and your mom and dad would probably get mad at you for being a big old ding dong. The downside is like they were like they had like a type of coloring to them, and so because of that. Their coloring would lead to them uh, leaving marks on like the floor and the ceiling. I was guilty of that. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all I got time for. Um, just gonna leave it on this. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has followed along for the past however many years this has been of me doing this. Uh, it's 100 episodes that have been a lot of fun, and I look forward to sharing more with you next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been 100 episodes of Super Nintendo Sundays, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Sing and count to 100. Count and have some fun. Let's sing and